Every editor's journey is unique, filled with unexpected twists and turns. Today, I'm taking you on a behind the scenes tour of my own editing with three tools that have shaped my creative landscape. We'll explore each one through the lens of real life views from frustrating crashes to game changing features. Whether you're just starting out or looking to polish your skills, I hope my experiences can steer you towards the right software for your projects. In my early days of editing, I went through a lot of moments where I was frustrated at how long it took me to edit a video. A lot of this was due to the fact that I wasn't completely familiar with my editing software and I knew that learning how to use it would be the biggest challenge but also the most rewarding. When I first started, I was editing with Adobe Premiere Pro, often called the industry heavyweight. It's a staple in professional circles, not just because it's so powerful, but because it integrates so smoothly with Adobe's Creative Cloud. Whether you're piecing together a complex feature film or slicing up a quick vlog, Premiere Pro brings something to the table for everyone. Now I've spent countless hours here navigating through its fast feature set. And while it's packed with everything you could possibly need, there's a catch. Its subscription cost adds up, making it a significant investment over time. And let me tell you, if your hardware isn't up to snuff, Premiere can get a bit sluggish so while it's robust and reliable keep those points in mind if you're considering making it your go-to editing companion now i do enjoy quite a lot of the seamless integrations like i said before it's so easy to switch back and forth between all the programs in adobe i definitely put in my 10,000 hours editing in premiere pro a long time ago but in 2022 i actually started to color grade and most of the time also edit videos in a different software DaVinci Resolve is known for its top tier color grading and comprehensive editing suite. It's a favorite for anyone looking to level up their video production game without the ongoing cost. This means that DaVinci Resolve is a one-time payment with no additional subscription fees, making it a fantastic choice on top of the fact that it has a free version too. But here's the catch. While it offers professional grade tools, it requires a robust setup to run smoothly. So if your hardware is not up to par, then you're gonna face a few challenges. I've personally navigated its steep learning curve and can honestly say that once you get the hang of it, it's really worth the effort. You can really unlock a whole new world of possibilities for your color grades. And I also think it's funny how, now that I've worked with DaVinci Resolve for the last couple of years, I look at Premiere Pro's color grading tools and they feel foreign, the same way that DaVinci did before I even started using it for my own work. I think this goes to show that ultimately, it's not so much about which tool you choose to go with, but whether you can master it to its full potential. And if you're interested in learning how to get the most out of Resolve, you can watch some of the tutorials that I've created for it, including this video up here about how to achieve halation that looks the most cinematic or filmic. Now I understand that Professional grade software might not be fit for everyone off the bat. Beginners might find something like CapCut more approachable. And even seasoned pros struggle with trying to decide which software to dedicate their time to, especially with things like hardware and budget limitations. CapCut has carved out its niche by offering both mobile and desktop platforms, catering to editors who need to craft content on the move. It's incredibly user-friendly and surprisingly free, making it a prime choice for quick edits or for those spontaneous moments you need to capture and share right away. That makes it perfect for social media as it offers all the flexibility without any of the fuss. Now, while it's versatile and convenient, keep in mind that CapCut is best for less complex projects. It's an excellent starter tool, but for more advanced features, you might want to consider stepping up to Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. Despite all the challenges, mastering your editing tools can significantly enhance your creativity and ability to express your creative vision. When you truly understand how to use your editing software, you can craft more compelling stories. This mastery allows you not only to control the visual aesthetics, but also the pacing, mood, and emotion resonance of your projects. And as a treat, here is my exact workflow between DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. While it might seem cumbersome to switch between two powerful tools, each one of them serves a unique purpose in my workflow. Premiere Pro excels at editing, adding text, transitions, and motion graphics. DaVinci Resolve, on the other hand, shines with its robust color grading tools and superior audio adjustments. So let's get into the workflow options. If you find yourself with access to both, you have a few strategies. For option A, 
Start with a base edit in Premiere Pro and then export an XML file to DaVinci, which maintains your clip cuts and arrangements. However, transitions and effects won't transfer over, so you might need to finalize those in DaVinci Resolve or return to Premiere Pro for a third export. Option B, export a ProRes file from Premiere Pro and use DaVinci scene cut detection for color grading. Now this method locks in your transitions into the video, which could complicate color grading transitions like fades, wipes, or anything that has to do with masking. Option C, my preferred method. Begin your base edit in DaVinci, perform cuts and color grading, then export a high quality ProRes file, and then add final touches like motion graphics and advanced transitions in Premiere Pro, where the tools are robust and familiar. This dual software approach allows me to leverage the best of both worlds. The key here is to streamline the process so that moving between them is efficient and doesn't disrupt the creative flow. Now, every editor's toolkit is unique. By understanding its strengths and costs associated with each software, you can craft a workflow that brings your creative visions to life. I know plenty of creators who use all kinds of software to edit their videos, some of them which I didn't even mention here in the big three. If you found this breakdown helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. Keep exploring, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.